Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hornet Duck and we are playing Mount Blade Warband Viking Conquest Reforged Editions Baldur Thorgrims and welcome to the Kingdom of Baldursdale. In the last episode we completely smashed the Pictish army, uh, the rest of the Pictish army that survived their um, crazy assault on Skuin. Uh, we move down here and we're gonna take um, out the rest of the Kingdom of Arclude. They only have two castles. And I just want to get rid of them. It's one less enemy kingdom. I'm going to take this guy, Caradoc Map Rival. That's going to be one less guy in their castles. We meet again. He's antagonistic. He doesn't hate me, but he's also not my friend. Well, surrender or die. Let's do that. Let's just attack them. Take them out. Oh, so we're fighting near a village. Interesting. A scout returns and informs you the enemy is spotted behind the village. The villagers have fled. The field is in sought safety in one of the houses. They know all too well the horrors of war. As do we. As do we. You find yourself mumbling. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, you sh shouldn't be able to put anything against that sort of um, true quality. I don't think. Alrighty. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna put down the resolution in the next recording session. <clears throat> Problem is, I've got a monitor, a screen with a native resolution of 1440p, and 1080p looks rather bad on it. So I do like it if it's in 1440p, but um, we really do have a bit of a performance problem. I thought I would get rid of that by upgrading to a new PC, but um, it doesn't really seem to have, to have worked that well. Still a lot of my bodyguards are, are standing. They are killing them out there. Nice. They have killed, what, 37 people? 40 people are down and only the bodyguard is fighting. That's really cool. They're doing very well. I like it. That's going to give them experience and more experience leads to them being able to train more troops. It's all good. It's all good. We only have three lords for our kingdom, but we are certainly, certainly going up in the world and not down. I mean, we just defended our northernmost holding with an absolute smasher of a victory. Destroying 1600 Picts with only about a thousand men. And we did not lose a lot of them either. I also can't really afford to lose a lot of them because it's really difficult for me to train troops. The AI doesn't have that problem. They don't have to increase their relations with villages and all that. They can just um, basically generate troops out of nothing. But well, that's fine. They are not they are not human, so they, they it doesn't really <clears throat> have the same level of forward planning and all that and you have to do some trickery to to make them able to stand up against a human player who has all the resources, all the mental resources and the internet to enhance this performance. I know I I really do feel like the like the persons in this world are real persons the the way they act I mean your enemies are burning your villages and trying to to annoy you you can court them I really hope that Benelord is going to expand on that and um, make the enemy even more um, real. I have the feeling that you are living in a world that is really populated by, by real people and that you can be part of this world. That has always been um, the appeal to me of Mountain Blade. Okay, so we won this. Gained 12 renown. Um, killed a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, you're my prisoner now. Yeah, he, he's not too happy about that, but yeah, he'd better be. He'd better be. That's just how it goes. OK, 
Getting a lot of prisoners out of this. I like that. I could take a thousand men with us. That's insane. Let's share the loot. Only getting two battle trophies out of this. That's okay, I guess. I'm only gonna take loot that is worth above 500 pinningers. So I can upgrade some soldiers. I do have a lot of prisoners here. I really would like to get my prisoners home. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna run around with 77 prisoners. Oh, there's Adam and Eldred. That's Goodridson. You're traveling to Kulnam. Did you get Kulnam? That's Kunangur Buxek. You asshole. I really want to take him out. I really want to. How's his troop composition? Angle freeholders. Norse bowmen, Norse spearmen. Yeah, basically, his troop uh, composition isn't very good. Does have no Norse Hoskals, as far as I can see. He has three Norse nobles. He's raiding a village of the Kingdom of Orklut, though. So, I won't really interfere, because I don't care for it. Gonna bring my prisoners into Edinburgh. That's Guthrid Knutr. Björn is is chilling out over there, so that's how it goes. Yeah, fuck off. Why does he have three hundred men already? I didn't I smash him before I went south? actually pretty annoying um, okay one north companion fine that's good um, let me let me put my trophies in here come on my battle trophy at least yeah these two why not I need some food as well that's Let's buy some food. Do we have some food? Yeah, okay. Yeah, honey and butter. Very good. I would like to get a cow. If you have a cow with you, um, your troops will make butter out of the milk of the cow. Well, that's actually pretty nice. Um, every couple of days you get, get butter. You can win cows um, in tournaments. Um, that's how I got mine. But it is also possible to buy them from the farmsteads, as far as I know. Okay, no ransom broker. This is really a shame. I wonder if I would be able to pull him over to the um, pagan side. Caradoc map rival. Let's let's try it. Hey, mate. Hmm. Ah, no, he doesn't want to discuss it with me. Okay, then. I'm just gonna throw you into the dungeon. I find it a bit odd that they are annoyed when I take them prisoner. Because really, they are attacking me. And they always take me prisoner. That's for certain. So you think you can plunder the place, right? He's running, but he's not there. Yeah. We just don't have enough lords. That's our problem. Hmm. Yeah, well, we, we won't get anywhere if we don't start conquering places. Oh well. So Aidenham West gets plundered. I can't do anything against that. You're gonna be a bowman. Do we have any quests? Save the village of Trafbrit and west from marauding bandits. That's east. That's west. I, I can't do anything. It's been looted. I think we're gonna fail that. 
That's kind of a box sack. And Alderman Eldred. That's Eckward. I would like to speak with Eldred. Maybe I can get him on my side. Yeah, good to see you again. Let's talk in private. He's still weary of politics. You're actually getting a bit on my nerves, I gotta say. I'm weary of politics while I plunder your places. Hmm. At least I built some improvements in Aidenham West. There's a chance that they get scared off. Okay, so we have 443 people in Goblin. What are they comprised of? 57 Freeman, 123 Spearmen. They got a lot of elite Spearmen. 40 Nobles. It's doable. It's doable. The elite Spearmen are gonna hurt. But I think we can do this. Yeah, I guess I guess that's fine. Gonna bring you down a bit. Gonna bring you up a bit. Let's do it. Let's do it. So let's besiege the castle. Uh, we're gonna plan the siege. We definitely need um, latrines. Because that's gonna hurt us if we don't have that. And then I should, I think we should do the blockading. Do it, do the blockade. Um, and then we're gonna prepare the assault. And we're gonna build the mantlets. And we're gonna wait until tomorrow. Okay. At night, your guards report that they observed a group of enemies dressed in sheepskin heading to a nearby stream. Right now, they are filling leather sacks with water to bring back to the settlement. Okay, we're gonna go with any companion who wants to join. What? I don't feel lost in any way. Come on, man. Yeah, they don't stand a chance against my bodyguards. <laughs> we are an army. Come on. Let's show them who's king of this land. Of these lands. Come on. Let's sound the horn. Just like it is. <clears throat> Just like it's appropriate for a surprise attack. Are there are there any left? Yeah, there's one. Come on, kill him. Okay, we did it. Uh, it's it's unsurprising. It's actually a bit crazy. <laughs> <coughs> Moving through the vegetation, you have taken your enemies by surprise and have given a good account of yourselves. Now the garrison will think twice before sending men out. Victory. Okay. Aiden and West again. Traff Caradog again. So we got 24,000 nearly. How did that happen? Um, tariffs from Sir Rigmanade. Rents from Din Bear. Aidenham West and East. Did not send one. Aidenham East, none, because they are looted, I guess. Edinburgh, ooh, made a lot of money. That's a very wealthy town. Nice. Dumbreton is coming along nicely. Screen is also fine, especially if you consider that it has been um, under siege. Very well.
Very nice, I like it. We can buy some more Vikings from that money. How is it going here? What about the assault? I'm gonna build equipment and clear the ground for assault. Let's do it. Are we ready for an assault? Oh, we're still building the ladders. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. Holy cow, stop looting my places. We need more lords. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah, we are ready. Okay, so we're gonna attack this place. Um, our vanguard advances. Um, we lost, oh, we lost quite a bit of men. Okay. The hour has arrived. We're gonna lead our soldiers into an assault. This is one castle before the last castle of Altklut. If they lose this, they're down to one, one castle, one village. Mainly because uh, one of their traitorous bastard lords, uh, male Echo Mabaroon, actually joined the Kingdom of East Anglia. He wanted to join me, but I really don't need someone like that. And he actually... I think he validated my, my decision by... Um, his behavior. He's constantly raiding my village. He just hates me. Let's see how this battle goes. We haven't even reached... Um, reached a place up there. Killed all, all those guys that they have in the outskirts of their... of the thing. And the um, lower bulwark. But as soon as we get up there, it's gonna be ugly. I think this place is about the same as Karadog. At least it looks very similar. No, I don't think any castle is the same. It's gonna be alright though. I'm very confident here. I think we can do this. Let's do the war cry. Let's have a look into the statistics. I shouldn't go down. This is gonna end the siege very quickly. And it's gonna reduce our morale and all that. But yeah, I'm pretty confident that we can take them out. Come on, man. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good, we only lost 10 men up until now, they lost 65. They do have a lot of these um, Britain elite spearmen in there, that's gonna be bad. Because they are they're pretty good, they have long spears and shields and all that. Yeah, and they have a lot of reach and the reach is really helping them defending their castle. I found that out when I defended Ker Caradog. That the uh, reach of spears is really something to be considered for these kinds of attacks. Well, some of our men are already in the castle, so we're doing well, I think. We're not doing great. We're actually losing more men here than we did defending Squin. Especially if you consider the ratio. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get this castle. I wonder if I should leave a garrison in here. Oh, we're losing more and more men. And the enemy got reinforced. Crazy. Well, they're throwing any, any, everything in that they can. Should still have the upper hand here. I 
think our men are in now. At least that is what I hope. I think we might get reinforced as well. We won't be strong enough after this thing to take on the other castle. Maybe that was a foolish hope. Thirty-six dead. The enemy has two hundred dead, nearly. And fifty wounded. And now the odds are swinging in our favor. We're nearly even on men, and our men are inside the walls. Now the slaughter begins. I think. Why aren't they using the left ladder? Should be easy for us to get an advantage there. Oh well. We now have more men than they do. 150 against 113, 12, 110. Oh, we lost 40 minutes. It is a lot. We pay in, uh, with a lot of lives for these, but we can always go out and recruit some more North Mother Vikings. We do have the funds for it. Seventy five, seventy four, sixty, sixty five. Yeah, this is gonna be over very soon. Nice. I like it. I might have attacked Konungur Boxek instead. I think it would have been good, but being king um, certainly means that you have to um, put your kingdom before your personal interests can't just have our revenge and um, neglect the kingdom and this needs to be done it needs to be done more than cunning of boxack needs to be um, stricken down maybe that was too clever a move for Boyle Thorgensen he's actually pretty dim with five intelligence but well, he, he's not an idiot He's just not the brightest, but maybe he has gained enough experience that he can um, judge the, the value of a captured fortress against winning a field battle against one of his enemies correctly. Nine enemies left. Five, four, three, two, one, and we won. Nice. Okay, very good. Okay. One farmer? Oh, well. I want the farmer. I want the nobles, though. I guess I can take all of them. Do have enough men to do that. I'm gonna... Gonna level these guys up. Okay, yeah, we took quite quite some losses. It's not horrible. It could have been way better. Especially we, we lost the, the ship captains. We're down to one ship captain now. I'm gonna take that farmer and stuff him into the garrison. Let's share the loot. No, we did not get a trophy. I'm gonna take everything that's over 500. And that's fine. So we've taken this. Um, we should defer the appointment of a lord. Um, I mean, I could give them to one of my one of my guys. They already have stuff. I could also plunder the place and leave, but I think we're going to do that to the places in the south of England. Not really here, so we should defer the appointment of a lord until I take the counsel of my subjects there. Okay, so how? Oh, yeah, the people hate me. All right then, but at least we got some free people in here gonna put that one farmer into the garrison as well <laughs> just because I can 
All right then. Now Alt Knut is down to one castle, Care Regit. Uh, I think we might be able to do that in the next episode. Taking Care Regit, and then I want to take uh, Cathuris, and then we might strike north to finally take out the Kingdom of Orban. Although I wanted to do that. I wanted to take out the Kingdom of Lethland. Oh well. Lots of things to do before the Kingdom of Baldersdale is really safe. But we made a step forward. We're only one step away from finishing off Kingdom of Oiklute. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing so you never miss an episode. I hope you join me next time for hopefully the end of the Kingdom of Oiklute. Thanks and bye bye.